Oh boy, more Egyptian god support. Make sure you guys share the crap and that subscribe button in case don't miss out on more awesome content. Bear witness to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! And this, ladies and gentlemen, should remind you guys of... Wow, I actually really like that that art is nice. Soul Energy Max. So, you only use the first second effects of this card's name once per turn. If you control an Ombos Tormentor whose original attribute is divine, I'm really glad that they had to include that there. You can tribute two face up monsters, except Obelisk the Tormentor, destroy as many monsters your opponent con currently controls as possible, and inflict 4,000 damage to your opponent. Hey, that means that uh, we'll OTK our opponent, right? Because Obelisk can attack directly. During the main or battle phase, you manage to scarf from your graveyard to add one Obelisk of Tormentor from your deck or graveyard to your hand, and then immediately after the circuit resolves, you can normal summon one Obelisk of Tormentor face up. I really like that they build these extra like summoning mechanics into these cards to make your lives a little bit easier. Another Blue Eyes alternative, and then we got Evolution Burst. Wow, that's really nice. Ev oh, Evolution Result Burst. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn after this card resolves, except with spell effects. Also, add one overload fusion from your deck to your hand. Also, the maximum number of attacks per battle phase this turn of any fusion monster using six or more materials with overload fusion this turn equals the number of monsters fused for its summon. Wow! That's really cool! Okay. Interesting reword there. Then we got the Great Soul. This would be five Ds, right? So. You can only use first second effects of this card's name once per turn. So if a dragon synchro monster is on the field, especially with the two resonating monsters and or, yeah, dragon level one monsters from your deck. When a monster effect is activated, if you control a level 10 or higher dark synchro monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard to negate that effect. And if you do synchro, one synchro you control gains 2,000 attacks for the rest of this turn. Huh. This is actually really good. That's a banish from the graveyard negate. That doesn't look like something a uh, tri brigade had gotten. Then we got Dragon King's Legend. Okay. Oh, this is the battle with Galaxy. Oh, my gosh. So you can target one dragon monster you control. Its current attack is becomes doubled until the end of this turn. Then if your opponent controls a dragon monster, the activation of the targeted monster's effects cannot be negated. During your main phase, you can banish the scarf from Giver, special summon one of your dragon exceed monsters that is banished or in your graveyard. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, they actually captured the art for that. Oh, I'm so giddy for that. That's so cool. Then we got Graceful Song under a frost under a frosty moon. Oh, that's all for the Ark of E Girls. Right? So you can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn. Special summon one level four lower fairy spellcaster wing beast or beast warrior monster from your hand. If you do equip this card, then you can return all dragon monsters on the field to the hand. Okay, well, this is actually just a free extender, effectively. Okay. During the end phase, if this card is in graveyard because it was sent there from the spell and trap card zone, while face up, you can add a polymerization fusion spell card or one fusion parasite from your deck to your hand. Huh. This this card's name is a riff of the concept of beauties in nature, which implies to have been the basis of motifs between Yuzaha and her counterparts, as written as the flower, birds, winds, and moon. This card literally reads, Song, Ice, Gracefulness, and Moon. That is freaking cool! And then we got Prisoners of Destiny. Decode and Boral. Oh, boy. So you only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. All right. Once per chain, if a Link 4 monster is linked, someone place one counter on this card, max 3. Then apply effects based on the number of counters of this card. So you can declare one card name. And if you do, the effects of cards of the original declared name are negated for the rest of this turn. Two, special summon one level 4 lower monster from your graveyard. Three more, since card of the graveyard, and do a special summon to Link 4 monster from your extra deck. This, this feels very, very floppy. Any of these cards absolutely amazing? No. Uh, but this card, this is an anti dragon support built in. For Beast Warrior Wing Beast support. That's kind of cool. And the VMAX energy is absolutely just amazing. So, guys, I'm coming up with too much. You guys think smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day with some more cool awesome content. Peace out, guys. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching.
check out these other videos.